Hello. In today's this video, we are going to discuss constant satisfaction problem of artificial intelligence. The constant satisfaction problem is all about reaching the goal or meeting the objective function by satisfying a set of constraints. Constant means a set of variables which are imposing the restriction from reaching the goal. It is the limiting, the, the limiting factors or some sort of preventive factors from reaching the goal, that prevents from reaching the goal or achieving the object maximization of objective function. So in the constant satisfaction problem, we are going to discuss the graph coloring, the graph coloring problem. So here in constant satisfaction problem, what we can see the state, there is a state. The concept of state is very important. The state is defined by two sets of things. The first set of things is a set of variables and it is a domain. Another, another is a set of values belonging to the domain. The set of variables and the set of values. Now, constant satisfaction problem is all about assigning the values in the variables, inserting the values into the variables or assigning the values in the variables in such a way so that the constraints are satisfied, the constraints or the restrictions are satisfied. So there is are the variables xi, the variables xi, x suffix i means i is an index number. There are set of variables, each variable generalized as xi, and there are a number of values generalized as ti under the domain d. Okay, is a ith value, i is a index number that is from 1 to n. So there are m variables, n values we can have i equal to 1 to m for xi for di, i equal to 1 to n. So it is all about the set is defined as a as a combination of the values and variables, the assignment of values in the variables, a certain stage, the cold test is a set of constraints specifying allowable combinations of values for subset of variables. The constraint, constraint means the restriction. The restriction actually defines, it determines what are the allowable, allowable or what are the permissible combinations of the values and variables. What are the what are the allowable assignment of values in the variables? Those are determined by the constraints. Constraints are basically the restrictions that prevents the process from going to the reaching the goal state. Now, here in the graph coloring problem, we are starting with the graph of Australia. We can see there are six, seven, six segments. It is divided into total six segments: Western Australia, Northern Territory. South Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, those are the six territories by which the map of Australia is divided by six segments. Each segment is equivalent to a vertex of the graph. If I represent this map in a graph, then each segment is equivalent to vertex, vertices of the graph, of a graph. And the adjacency of each segment, the adjacency of each area is the edge connecting, uh, edge connector between two vertices. So we can see the Northern Australia, Western Australia is having the adjacency with Northern Territory and South Australia. So we are having, if I represent this particular map with graph, then we can say the Western Australia node or vertex is having an edge that leads to Northern Territory and South Australia. So those are the neighbors, the neighboring or connecting edges that leads to Northern Territory and South Australia. So Northern Territory and South Australia are the neighboring uh, nodes or vertices of West Australia. And similarly, Northern Territory is having the two na three neighbors we are having. We can see Western Australia, South Australia, and Queensland are the three neighbors of Northern Territory. If Northern Territory is represented as a vertex of the graph, then it is having three adjacent vertices, Western Australia, South Australia, and Queensland, just like this. This is a 
optimal, almost the optimal allocation of the, the colors, the values are here, the colors. The values are the colors and variables are the vertices. The variables are the regions, West Australia, Northern Territory, Queensland, South Australia, New South Wales, Victoria, those are the variables. And those represented in a graph, if the whole map is represented in a graph, those variables are actually the vertices. Okay. So the variables are West Australia, Northern Territory, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, and Tunisia. Tunisia is an island. It is, it is completely disconnected from the mainland graph. Domain. So the values are colors. Values are colors here. The domain of colors. Domain of colors. So D is a domain of colors. We are having three colors in the set of three colors. Variable is a set of six, six components, the six variables, set of six variables. And there are set of six colors constitute a domain. What is the constraint? Constraint is no two adjacent vertices should have the same color. Or we can see no two adjacent regions should be assigned by a common color or same color. No two adjacent vertices, two adjacent vertices shouldn't have a same color or common color. Okay, an objective function is coloring all the vertices of the map, coloring all the regions of the map or coloring all the vertices in, a, in the graph. No vertices, no vertex or no region should left uncolored. That is the objective function that we have to achieve. That is a goal state that all the vertices are colored. And what is a constraint? That constraint has to be satisfied. The constraint is no two adjacent vertices should have the same color. Like Western Australia and Northern Territory cannot have the same color. Western Australia and South Australia cannot have the same color. Northern Territory and Queensland cannot have the same color, just like that. So now how to solve? Now for example, this is a a solution of the CSP problem, constant satisfaction problem. This is the optimal allocation of the colors into the variables, into the regions. Optimal allocation of values into the variables. Optimal allocation of the colors into the regions where the, the constraint, is, constraint is satisfied all over. The constraints are satisfied means no two regions in this particular map is having the same color. So how to achieve? There are a lot of techniques, lot of techniques to achieve this solution. So one by one, we'll discuss the techniques one by one. Constant graph. So first of all, we'll represent this particular map with a graph, with a graph. Okay, there's a called a constant graph. Okay, the arcs are the constraints, where the arcs are the constraints. Okay, constraint means the restriction or we can say the dependence. We can say as dependence. Each constraint relates two variables. Each constraint means it is a adjacency. The constraint here actually standing for adjacency or we can say dependence. Now, as we know, this is a this is a theoretical part, as we know that whenever we are having the domain D and the number of variable N, the total time complexity, the maximum time complexity in worst case time complexity is D to the power N. So we can have D to the power N. N is the number of call very values. D is the number of values. N is the number of variables. D is the domain size. D is the domain size and domain contains three values here the three colors and domain is a set of values domain is a set of values domain contains the values and n is a number of variables so we have the time complexity will be okay domain size d will be d to the power n complete assignment when domain size is d the d to the power n complete assignments we can have and that is the time complexity of this particular problem so uh, for assignment of all the, the given very values into the given variables. Now what happened? We'll start with 
the backtracking directly. Backtracking is the first technique. The first technique we'll discuss that is backtracking. So it will just proceed like a DFS. We'll start with the empty state, the starting state, the empty state where all the regions are empty. All the regions are empty, means all the variables are not assigned by any value. All the vertices of a graph is not assigned by any value, any color. No region is assigned by any color. Then there can be two options. Randomly, we can pick up a region and we can, we can insert, we can assign the color, the value. Color is a value and region is a variable. Again, I'm telling. So here, there are three options we have. Randomly, we can pick the West Australia and we can have three options over here. We can put the color red, green, and blue. Any of the options we can opt for. There are three options open. Now, just like a DFS fashion, in a DFS fashion, we will take the leftmost state. Exploring the leftmost state, we are going to the next state. The next state, there are two states, two substates in the next state. Next state, there are two options. We are going to the next state. There are two options. We can have the, the Northern Territory can either be green or can be blue to satisfy the constraint. Because already West Australia is red. So Northern Territory can be either green or blue. So these two options are left for this particular combination, for this particular state of Lepmo state, we are having these two substates. Now again, just following the DFS uh, rule, we'll take the Lepmo state and we'll expand, we'll explode. So now we have the two substates, two options and two substates where we can have the Queensland is colored by either red or blue, any one of them. Now, among those, these two states, is there any state, these two substates, just look carefully. This right-hand substate sub is leading to dead end, is leading to dead end or failure, is liable to be failure because the South Australia should not be, cannot be colored by any value, cannot be assigned by any value because all the three values are already assigned to the adjacent regions of South Australia. Since all the colors are exhausted for the neighbors of the South Australia, the South Australia cannot be given any color because that will violate the constraint and that will lead to a failure. Failure and that will lead to the dead end of the process. Now the lead part, that is the correct one and that can lead to the solution, that can lead to the goal Okay, by satisfying the constraint. So if this would be in the left and this would be in the right, then there should have been the backtracking. If it would be the right one would be, would be in left and the left one would be in right, then definitely first, if we examine this state, then whenever we find, whenever we could find that it would lead to dead end or it would lead to failure, then there should, should, should have been a backtracking to the sibling node. Next. Now the backtracking, it is looking very simple for this particular six variable, three value example. There are six variables, six regions, three values, three colors. For this small example, it may look very smooth. The backtracking is a process. It is looking to be very smooth, but actually it will not be so smooth if the problem size is much more bigger, much bigger. If the number of variable is much, higher or the number of values is much, much higher. So in that case, we'll apply some other techniques, namely the first technique that we'll apply, that is, we'll discuss that is minimum remaining value heuristic. Minimum remaining value heuristic. That is actually, we will select, we will start with most constrained variable. We'll start with a variable which is most constrained. Most constraint means the variable which is having, which is having the highest degree of restriction, the highest degree of binding. What is that? That is minimum remaining value heuristic. The variable which is having the minimum remaining value 
available for it is said to be the most constraint. A variable which is having the minimum remaining value to be assigned is called as, referred as the most constrained variable. Let's start with this example. In the initial state, all are having the remaining value as three. Remaining value means the remaining colors, remaining allowable colors, remaining legal assignments, whatever terms you use, actually remaining legal values. All the regions are having three remaining values because it is an empty set. The starting state is a empty state where all the regions are empty. Those are yet to be assigned by values. So all the regions are having option three, three of three colors, option of three colors. Every region can is free to opt from, from all the three values. The next state, randomly, if I, if I pick West Australia and we, we insert, we assign the color red, then there will be a change on this minimum remaining value in the remaining value. The Northern Territory is having the remaining value too because its adjacent is already occupied red. So the Northern Territory is having the remaining values too, one less. The South Australia is having the remaining value too. Similarly, New South Wales or Queensland is having the remaining value three because those are not having any adjacent color by any but specific value. So those are having the Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, those are having remaining values three. So we will choose among the least remaining values, minimum remaining values, or the most constrained variable. So among these five, Northern Territory, South Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria, among all these five, Northern Territory and South Australia are definitely the most constrained variables because they are having only two colors in hand. They can spare only two colors. Whereas the other three, three can spare three colors. So those are most constrained. Most constrained means they are having the minimum remaining value available for them to be assigned. Now let's randomly we pick this Northern Territory. Then the in the leftover regions, we have the South Australia is living with only one remaining value that is blue. South Australia can be colored by only blue, whereas Queensland is left with the remaining value two. South Australia is having the remaining value one. The Queensland is having the remaining value two, whereas the New South Wales and the Victoria, those are having the remaining values three each. Now, as the next one, the remaining value, the least remaining value, minimum remaining value is of South Australia. So next one is South Australia. We'll insert the value. We'll assign the value blue. Then after that, if I extend the, the operation, if I extend the extend to the next state, extend this to the next state, then the Queensland is having the minimum remaining value one, the remaining value one, because only rate can be applied to Queensland because these two adjacents are having occupied two colors, red and green and blue. So for Queensland, only one option is left, that is red. One value is remaining, that is red. So for New South Wales, how many values are remaining? It is two, two values, because only one neighbor is colored, that is the South Australia, that is blue. So, so apart from blue, there are two other colors like green and blue, green and red, which is available for New South Wales and Victoria is having also two remaining values in the same manner. So we can have the minimum remaining value available is belonging to Queensland. Queensland is having really one remaining value only. One remaining color is there for Queensland. So Queensland can be assigned by one color only. It is at the minimum remaining value. It is the most constant variable at that state. At this stage, this is the most constant variable. So we'll color this by red. So after that, the New South Wales will have the remaining value one. So no other option, it will have green. So it is having, the Victoria is having the remaining value one. So Victoria will be colored by no other option that is green. So in this way, 
the optimality can be reached, but there is a problem for minimum remaining value. If the problem size is much, much bigger, if the number of variable will be much bigger and number of domain, size of domain, the number of values in the domain will be much bigger, it may lead to a problem. It may be lead to failure because then there are some time situations where there is a time. Because in the second state, as you can say, second state, the North and Territory and South Australia is having, both are having the remaining values too. But we have randomly chosen North and Territory. But now the more better efficient process is, instead of choosing randomly, we will follow another process that is called degree heuristic. Whenever there is a tie, like tie, tie of in the second step, of this particular process. Now, Northern Territory and South Australia, those are having a time because both are having the same remaining value. In that case, whom to choose? We will choose degree, degree heuristic tails. According to degree heuristic, we will choose the one which is having more degree, which is having larger degree. So we can say the South Australia is having the larger degree because larger, larger remaining nodes it is connected with one, two, three, four. So degree of the South Australia, remaining degree of South Australia will not consider West because it's already colored. The remaining degree of South Australia is four, whereas the remaining degree of Northern Territory is only two. So we will choose South Australia in that case. Combining this minimum remaining value heuristic and the degree heuristic can solve a number of problems in a lesser amount of time. So it's a tiebreaker. So degree heuristic is used as a tiebreaker. We can start with minimum remaining value heuristic and whenever there is a tie, we will use the degree heuristic. Now, most constraining variable. What is the most constraining variable? Most constraining variable means the variable or the region or the vertex, which is having largest number of neighbors or largest number of dependent vertices. If whenever a vertex is having a largest number in a graph, whenever a vertex is having the largest number of neighbors or largest number of remaining connected nodes, okay, among the remaining nodes, the largest number of connected nodes, we can say it is the most constraining variable because it is going to create the constraint for largest number of variables. Choose the variable with the most constraints on remaining variables. Okay. For remaining variables, non-colored variables, the variables which are not been colored. This means most number of edges it is connected with. Same thing, the most number of neighbors. That is same thing as degree. So in that case, the South Australia is, is the most constraining variable because it is connected with the five regions. In the starting state, when everything is empty, South Australia is having the most constraining variable because it imposes most constraints, most constraints on remaining variable or constraints of most of the remaining variables. So it is imposing constraint on five variables. Why constraint? Because if South Australia is given assigned by a specific color, then all the five other regions will lose one color. If it is in a second step, the South Australia is colored by blue. This means all the other five regions will not having option for blue, will lose the option of blue. Okay, so they will have only two remaining values, red and green. They will be confined within only two values, red and green. So in the next degree and the remaining degree, what is the remaining degree of Northern Territory after that? That is two. What is the remaining degree of West Australia? One. What is the remaining degree of Queensland? Two. Again, there is a tie. Again, there is a tie. Northern Territory is having two remaining degree. The Queensland is having also two remaining degree. Whereas New South Wales is also having two remaining degrees. So anyone can be chosen at random. We have chosen at random the Northern Territory. After that, we have Queensland the most constant one, okay, because it is having the degree one. So we are having, so it is a, it should be, it should, this is the New South Wales is most constrained 
it should be chosen. It should be chosen. But here in the picture, we can see the Queensland is chosen because there is a combination of most constraining variable and least remaining value. So the most constraint variable now, most constraining variable here is on the remaining values, what we can have, the most constraining variable here is only this new South Wales, but still this is colored because there is a factor of least remaining value. For the Queensland, the remaining value is only one and that is red. That's why this Queensland is chosen. So there is a combination of least remaining value, degree heuristic and most constraining variable. These three combinations we can have. And next one is the fourth one. The fourth one is the most const least constraining value. The value which is creating least constraint. Least constraint. In what order should its value be tri tried? Least constraining value heuristic. The question is, in what order should its value be tried? Which is the order of the values? So, we will choose that value which is creating, which is imposing least constraint over the other variables. Given a variable, choose the least constraining value. Means we will choose a value for the variable, the value which is creating the least constraint for other variables. The one that rules out the previous values in the remaining variables. Means of color we will take, a value we will take for a variable that will create the least constraints for the other variables means the other variables will have most num possible most number of possible colors available for them okay not least available colors but most number of available colors available for them for this particular example you can see in the third step the northern territory sorry the queensland is colored by red and second option, the Queensland is colored by blue. So whenever Queensland is colored by blue, it is maximum constraint it is imposing on the South Australia. Means South Australia will have no other option. So it will create a failure. It will lead to failure, sheer failure. But here we are using red. For the other regions, it will leave other regions with, with the maximum number of available colors and that is one. So South Australia is available with one color, the New South Wales is available with two colors and Victoria is available with three colors. Most number of possible values they are having. So least constraining value is red here. Red here in this particular state, choosing red for Queensland, for Queensland, which value to be chosen? Which color to be chosen for Queensland? Okay, okay. So that is red is the least constraining value. Why? Because if I choose red for Queensland, it will impose least constraint on other regions. If I choose red for Queensland, so for South Australia, there are one color left. For New South Wales, there are two, one color left. For Victoria, there are three colors left. Two colors left for New South Wales. And for Victoria, there are three colors left. So this is the most possible number of availability of values we are leaving for the other regions. That is least constraining value. Now, all these heuristics, like for example, for the first most constraint variable, or we can say minimum remaining value heuristic, degree heuristic, most constraining variable, choosing the most constraining variable, that is, we are starting the degree heuristic from the beginning. We are starting the degree heuristic. Okay. From the starting, we are going for the choose the variable with the most constraint on remaining variables, most edges in a graph. So we'll go with that. Third one is most constraining variable and fourth one is least constraining value. If I combine these four algorithms, if I combine these four heuristic measures, that will make 1,000 queens visible and solvable, not eight queens neither four queens, it is thousand queens. So let's have the discussion up to these for graph coloring problems, various techniques. And next class, we'll definitely discuss the advanced techniques of graph coloring problem, like arc consistency, like forward checking, etc. Thank you.